Block Block Builder! Hey guys, Block Block Builder here, and I'm back! I did it. I'm not gone for another month, or two. Anyway, sorry this guy isn't fully colored, but this is gameplay version 2 for you guys, but I've done other versions before that I just haven't recorded. Because, yeah. Now, this is by far the cleanest DS mode he's had, but not my favorite robot mode, and we'll get to that later. But, that's okay. So, here he is, and I had to put this clear thing behind him so he'd actually stand up. So, he looks really good from the front, and I do plan to, like, tile it over and stuff, but I wanted to get the video... I wanted to make another video and not just be like, hey guys, I want to upload. See you in the next two months. Anyway, so here's the DS mode. I think he looks pretty cool. You can, one of the things I wanted to do was actually be able to like fold it up like a DS can, which is why this is like this. And so it folds up like so. I'm going to use uh, inverted plates on the back here, but for now it's fine because we're only really going to be looking at this part, and that is one of the problems with this one. So that, once you turn it back, it can sometimes break. But that's okay. It's not that big of a problem in robot mode. It's just because of so many hinges on one thing. Just put him over here. He's going to fall over, and there we go. Never mind. Got him to stand. Then we have uh, SD in his new little game mode. Uh, he's missing some pieces, but he still works. For transformation and that's fine and then we have cartridge and this is um, hinge uh, we'll do some size comparisons here he is next to this minifigure dude pretty perfect minifigure scale I'd say I mean he can even stand inside of it whenever I play my DS I just like to climb on top of it and I just start jumping on the buttons anyway that's him next to a minifigure uh, I guess I should do some other kinds of size comparisons, shouldn't I? Here he is next to a Model T. And that's about, I'm not going to wait, take too long on size comparisons. And that's fine. Anyway, I guess we'll just move on to transformation. So we'll start off with the big guy himself. And we'll move on to his little buddies next. So to transform this guy, what you're going to do is turn him around this way, like this. And then we're going to come back here and see these. You're going to pull these out, and these are his hands. So let's just come down like so. Then these are going to unpeg right here from this bit like so. Just make sure everything's connected all good. Then his arms will be able to fold through because they should... Then just rotate this back on some ball joints that are in there. Flip his little arms back. Like so. Next, we're going to grab this whole section and just fold that down for now. And you'll have them like this. Now we're going to rotate these like so. And then we're going to spin these forward and swing them down. Then you want to rotate this around. But then before you do that, you're going to hinge the leg out. This will come down and form his foot. Actually, it's this way. This piece comes in. And then this whole part will swing forward. And that'll be one leg. It's got angle tilt and stuff. So go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Rotate it. Fold this forward. Rotate this whole part around. Fold it forward. Fold in this side, flip this part down, and fold up the foot. There you got his legs. And now that the camera's raised, we can work on the upper body. We're going to first, after we gotta flip these sections back, then you're going to spin his whole waist around. Take his head, go ahead and rotate that. Then these parts are going to swing upward and then you can bend his arm forward and stuff, and you're just going to try to get these out of the way. Like so. And we'll deal with those later. Now you can fold his arms back down. And go ahead and rotate his hand up. Like that. There's one arm nearly done, but we're just going to 
actually no, go ahead and fold this part into its little storage mode, which is not really that storageable, but you just kind of flip it upside down and fold that onto the shoulder to make it a bit smaller. Then come and do the same thing on this other side. So just swing it up like this, just rotate it out, spin it around after flipping this out, spin this around, fold this piece in, take his arm and go ahead and turn that back down. Fold up his fist, and there's gameplay in his robot mode. So he does look pretty cool. He, it's just um, his last version I had, the DS mode wasn't that great, but I really liked his robot mode. But I still think he looks pretty cool. He just got his articulations a bit hindered because of how I had to place the ball joints. So, yeah. Speaking of articulation, his head is on a T-bar and can look up and down. It can rotate 360 degrees. He's got a waist joint, which can also rotate 360 degrees. He has a reversed ab crunch because of the transformation. His arms can do this thing. So if you wanted to like butterfly it, it looks really weird, but it still works. These will come off sometimes just because of where they're placed if they hit things. So you can kind of turn them like this if you want. But these arms can rotate like so up and down a little bit and he bends at the elbow, wrist is on the T-joint, it can go up and down and rotate. And his legs can kick forward, they can bend at the knee, only about that much because of the tile. And then he's got an ankle tilt and his foot can go forward and back and rotate. So that's the articulation of him. And now we'll move on to his little buddies. He's starting off with cartridge since he's the simplest. You're just going to take these parts They'll come out, lift his head up, and spin it around. Rotate out these parts, and the reason it can do that is because these are two separate pieces. I actually like to turn the wings back a little bit. And then I like to split his little feet apart. And then you can take that clear thing that you had at the beginning of the video after straightening some things out. And this is just his stand. Now he can fly. So there's Cartridge in his little bird mode. Next up is SD, and he was hard to come up with a new transformation, but I think it turned out pretty well, especially when this is all light gray. Now, what you do is you're going to swing the legs down, bend it on this part and fold them down all the way. Take his arms and slide up these tiles. Sorry, that came off and that'll rotate down. They're a bit cheaty, but it just worked out that way because it just actually worked and gave him a little bit of articulation. So this is SD in his robot mode. I forgot to go over cartridges articulation so I'll do that real quick. Heads on a T-joint so it can go up and down and it can rotate like this and its feet can move and these can move and they can move right here. So that's that articulation. And then for this little dude his legs can fling off because they're kind of fragile but that's okay. They can rotate forward and back. They can go out and in and he's got a little bit of an ab crunch kind of thing. His arms can rotate at the shoulders. His head can look up and down. That shouldn't move because it's supposed to have another one of those or just a one by two with two holes in it. He's got elbow joints. You guys are probably thinking this guy's like as fragile as the original version of Split Side. Anyway, it's just because I'm not handling it very well. You can lift his arms up and his arms go up and down. And yeah, he's just a little articulated dude. So here we have Hinge. Like I said earlier, sorry that these guys aren't perfectly colored, but they're colored enough to where I can review them without feeling too horrible. Anyway, so here's Hinge on his little charger mode. And to transform him, you are going to lift his head up. And then you're going to come down here, and these are going to fold out. Then these will fold forward and rotate down. Next, this whole section swings all the way around. And then you come here to the tail and you're going to rotate this part and swing this back. Then I think that these okay, never mind. You don't rotate this part around, this part stays. Or not. Then these come down like this. I'm getting it. I'm getting it, guys. Don't worry. Then you fold his arms down like this after you rotate this part around. Fold his head around again. 
without breaking it like I just did, and then slide these up. I may be making them look like they're fragile, but really this is just a one stud connection and I broke it off and then that guy accidentally, I pointed to him, you can't see him. Anyway, here is Hinge in his little dog mode. I think he looks pretty cool in his little pupper doggo mode. I think he turned out pretty well. I like him. And I guess we'll move on to his articulation. His tail is a big wiry cord thing. You can rotate it like this if you want. And it can rotate like on the bar. His legs are on ball joints and can bend at the knee with this hinge. His name, that's funny. And it's the same for the front legs. He's got a ball joint in the middle. His head can go up and down like a lot, so he can actually like howl. His ears are tiles who are on what that are on stud friction, so they can rotate. His head can rotate like this, and it can kind of turn side to side because of the ball joint. And yeah, that's his articulation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, I'm going to be trying to upload more frequently, and I hope this is the start to that. And yeah, hope you all have a great day. Hope you enjoyed these guys, and Block Block Builder, breaking out.